I'm Archdeacon Rod Bauer and this is Evening Prayer for Tuesday. The psalm will be Psalm 69 verses 1 to 20 and the reading is from Philippians chapter 3 verses 7 to 16. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, the God of our forebears, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed is your holy and glorious name, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed are you, glorious in your holy temple, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed are you who behold the depths, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. Blessed are you in the heights of heaven, worthy to be praised and exalted forever. The day is now past, the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Psalm 69, verses 1 to 21. Save me, O God, for the waters have come up even to my throat. I sink in the deep mire where no footing is. I have come into deep waters and the flood sweeps over me. I am weary with crying out. My throat is parched. My eyes fail with watching so long for my God. Those that hate me without cause are more in number than the hairs on my head. Those who would destroy me are many. They oppose me wrongfully, for I must restore things that I never took. O oh God, you know my foolishness, and my sins are not hidden from you. Let not those who wait for you be shamed because of me, O oh Lord God of hosts. Let not those who seek you be disgraced on my account, O God of Israel. For your sake have I suffered reproach, and shame has covered my face. I've become a stranger to my family, an alien to my own mother's children. Zeal for your house has eaten me up, and the taunts of those who taunt have fallen on me. I afflicted myself with fasting, and that was turned to my reproach. I made sackcloth my clothing, and I became a byword to them. Those who sit in the gate talk of me, and the drunkards make songs about me. But to you, Lord, I make my prayer at an acceptable time. Answer me, O God, in your abundant goodness and with your sure deliverance. Bring me out of the mire so that I may not sink. Let me be delivered from my enemies and from the deep waters. Let not the flood overwhelm me or the depths swallow me up. Let not the pit shut its mouth upon me. Hear me. O Lord, as your loving kindness is good, turn to me as your compassion is great. Do not hide your face from your servant, for I am in trouble. O be swift to answer me. Draw near to me and redeem me. O ransom me because of my enemies. You know all their taunts. My adversaries are all in your sight. Insults have broken my heart. 
my shame and disgrace are past healing. God of grace, we thank you for all your gifts to us. Grant us to accept both pain and joy in faith and hope, never to fail in love to you and to our sisters and brothers, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Reading from Philippians chapter 3, beginning at the seventh verse. Yet whatever gains I had, these I have come to regard as loss because of Christ. More than that, I regard everything as loss because of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have suffered the loss of all things, and I regard them as rubbish, in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but one that comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God based on faith. I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the sharing of his suffering by becoming like him in his death, if somehow I may obtain the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already obtained this or have already reached the goal, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus is made me his own. Beloved, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but this one thing I do, forgetting, that, forgetting what lies behind and strain forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the heavenly call of God in Christ Jesus. Let those of us then who are mature be of the same mind. And if you think differently about anything, this too God will reveal to you. Only let us hold fast to what we have attained. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We pray for Peter, our bishop, with Sonia and Charlie, our assistant bishops. For the first peoples of the diocese, especially the Wabakal, the Birapai, the Darkened Jung, the Gwigal, the Kamilaroi, Waramai, and Wanarua peoples. We pray for the Diocese of Guadalcanal, the leaders of the nations in parliaments and public service. Especially we pray for those whose lives are affected by COVID-19, for their families and friends, for emergency and essential services personnel and especially for frontline medical personnel. We pray for scientists seeking a vaccine. Grant wisdom to leaders, we pray. 
insight to scientists. Skill and compassion to medical staff. We pray too for the clergy and peoples of the parishes of Toronto, Wingham, Windale and Woiwoi. We pray for police and defence forces putting their own lives at risk to keep us safe. And we join our hearts prayerfully to the chaplains who care for all those personnel. We pray too for the Anglican Men's Society and for their chaplains. At this time we also especially pray for corrective services chaplains, seeking to bring peace and comfort to those who are incarcerated and away from their families. especially this day. We prayerfully join our hearts to all survivors of child sexual abuse, especially those who have been abused by clergy. Grant healing, wholeness, peace and justice. Be present, merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest on your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May Jesus, the Lord of peace, give us peace at all times and in every way. Amen.